Okay, so today I'm gonna be building two large lanterns. I absolutely love building things, so I'm excited to dive right into this. Um, the main reason for this video is to inspire and to show you how to build one yourself, how easy it could be to put one together. So the first step would be cutting all the wood that I'm gonna need. So let's get cutting. laid out that I need to build my lantern, all the pre-cuts. If this is too much to remember, we are gonna have all the measurements in the description below. I have my cylinder. You can get this at any local dollar store, maybe craft store. They come in all different sizes. We chose this size, so we're gonna build our lantern around this. We also have these wooden tops. I think they're for the post of a headboard for a bed, or they could be for a stairway railing that goes just like on the end. I don't know, but you can find them at your local hardware store. They have all different designs. So you could pick out your own fun one. I'm gonna get to the basic tools I'm gonna use to build this lantern. You're gonna wanna get wood glue. That will help a lot. Also, you can use screws or nails. I prefer nails because nails, they're not gonna split your wood. I was gonna use a hammer and nails, but Mike went to the store to get something. He came back with a nail gun. I have been wanting one of these for a long time because it makes the process so much easier, just like So I'm excited to open that up and get it out and start using it. I do have a question. Every time Mike goes to the store, he always comes back with something very unique and unexpected. When I go to the store, I stick to the list, I get what's needed, I don't go on rabbit trails. So my question is, do you stick to the list or do you grab like random fun things, like spontaneous, but I'm excited to use the nail gun. I think that'll be fun. You okay? <laughs> Okay, first we're gonna start with our bottom board. We're gonna take our wood glue and get a good amount of glue on your board. We're gonna be using this a lot. Then you take your second bottom board and we're gonna sandwich, sandwich them together. All right, that is good enough. We are gonna use now our one and a quarter inch nails. Okay, there's the battery. It's so much fun. These are like staples. They're skinny little nails, just like staples. <laughs> they have a safety lock right here. So, Jared's right here hanging out with me, so good to keep it on the lock. And I could even remove the battery. That way, safety, that's good. Our sandwich is together. We're gonna take these two, do the exact same thing, sandwich it together. The wood glue is gonna dry and it will be a solid lock. Now we have our two pieces done. Okay, now we're gonna build our columns. Put this like this and we're gonna build it like this. We're gonna add some glue. Safety's off. Wow! Can you go get me um paper towels? Here you go. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I said I was gonna add the two inches, but I never added it. Put two nails on each one. There we go. I'm gonna add more. 
more glue on this side, not too much this time, thank you. And then I'm going to nail this one on like that. That thing's not gonna get old, that's awesome. All right, so here we have this. We do need to add this one right here. There it is. Our first one finished, and we'll do the same thing with one more. All right, we have our two pieces finished. Now we just need to add this to both sides. So four more we're gonna add, and it's starting to take shape. See how I just made a table? Now we're gonna flip it and put the other top on just like a box. Finished, look at that. Now we are going to add the bottom piece. This is gonna be easy, again, easy. Easy steps, the corners and just the whole bottom piece. Then? This could be the bottom. Now I'm gonna do the other piece. So we have this one, more glue. The board is kind of warped a little bit and I think it's better if you put the warp down this way instead of the warp bowing like this at the top because you'll notice that more. So just be aware when you use your wood what that your wood's not gonna be perfect. So try to put it on, what am I talking about? Now we are gonna take these and we're just gonna line up right on the top. Let's see, we got one, two, three. This is the third tier that I have to put on. Just gonna glue it like I've done everything else. These lanterns are very easy to just stack, stack, and make it your own. We have one more piece, and that is this. So, I think I need to drill a hole. All right, if you're gonna do this with that screw, you're gonna need to drill a hole, or you can take pliers and take that metal piece off and then just put glue on there and put it on, but I'm gonna actually use that. excited about this because this was really easy to put together it is sturdy now that this is finished I'm going to make a second one the second one will be a little smaller so they look nice next to each other and then I am going to stain them put Vaseline on them and then paint them white why the Vaseline let me tell you Vaseline under the paint crackles it to give the paint an aged look. Now that you know that fun little hack, I am going to get the second one built and then we'll be finished and I can't wait to see what it looks like.
right, I have finished these lanterns. I really like how they turned out. We also added inside the cylinders some candles and then greenery just to break up the whites and add another color in, which really makes it pop and stand out. Um, I do want to talk about how I did the paint and the Vaseline. This is what it looks like as it's cracking. You can see the top part. Um, there is a lot of like wear and tear look. Um, it just turned out really good. I really like that look. So the secret of using it, you want to put a little bit because the more you put on, it's gonna crack the paint a lot and the paint will literally just start sliding off your wood. So you don't want that, so just put a little bit on. Just wanna put it on corners and edges where it's more natural to see wear and tear. One more thing about when you paint over the Vaseline, do only a few strokes because the more you mess with the paint after you put it on, it's gonna start like uh, spreading the paint and moving it too much and it's not gonna look good. I did forget to show you that I put legs on the bottom of the lanterns, just cut four of them out, glued them, then nailed them in, and that was all I needed. It was super easy. I can't believe I had forgot it because it was like the one thing I really wanted to put on there. Um, but it definitely gives it that final really good look. As you can see right there, I did not paint the underside. Didn't think anybody would see that. So there was a lot of scrap wood left over and the kids ended up grabbing all the pieces and started playing with them. And I'm like, hey, that's a good idea. I just chopped it all up put it in this basket and they'll just build things. So that's a lot of fun. Right, Jer? Yeah. All right, that is it. Thank you guys for watching and sticking around to the end. I had a lot of fun with this project. I hope it inspires you to build something and use your imagination and put whatever you want on it, make it any way you want it to look. So hopefully that has inspired you. Mike just told me that he got some awesome footage of a dragonfly in our backyard. So I'm gonna leave you with that and we'll see you guys next Saturday.